Alrighty guys, welcome back to Naptown Adventure. Um, we are going to go round dose. Round two, keto cheesecake. This time, um, this time I wanted to make something a little bit different. I want to add a little bit of chocolate into the recipe. I'm actually working, tweaking this recipe out a little bit. I'm going to be making a third cheesecake sometime very soon. Uh, I want to get a little you know a little a little artisan with it um but if you have any questions refer to the first video i think this for i think this recipe for the crust is actually a lot better it came out uh to the thickness that i wanted and i hope you guys like this one so let's get right to it so for this recipe we are going to be melting down some chocolate 80 grams or under three ounces I am using 85% cocoa, but you can use anything from 80 to 100% cocoa, whatever you prefer. We will also be heating up 100 milliliters or just under three and a half ounces of heavy cream or heavy whipping cream. And you want to bring this up to just before a boil and you get to this point when you see some steam coming off. And when you get to this point, you are ready to pour this heavy cream over chocolate in a separate bowl. I went ahead and cut up the chocolate into smaller pieces to make it a little bit easier to mix in with the hot heavy cream. But you can just cut it into a few pieces. It still works the same. This is just a little bit easier, a little faster. Now the consistency that you're looking for is when the chocolate starts to resemble and feels like chocolate pudding. So this recipe, I changed it around a little bit because I wanted a thicker crust. So for the almond flour they're going to be using, I'm using one and three quarter cups instead of the original one and one quarter cup that I used in a previous video. I'm also going to be adding half a cup of Swerve Confection of Sugar instead of a quarter cup. I will also be using, well, at this point we will mix in our dry ingredients. I didn't show it in this video, but I did add some salt in this process. We'll be adding just one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Uh, that's the same recipe from the first video. I will be adding a half a cup of butter instead of one quarter cup. But if you want to use a quarter, that's still okay. I will also still be using one egg for this crust. So once you have your wet ingredients into the dry, just mix it well until again, it doesn't stick to the side and forms into a ball. Which at which, at this point, we can put into our spring pan, and I will be using avocado oil spray to keep the cheesecake from sticking to the sides. You'll add your dough, your crust in there, and spread it out evenly until you get, until everything is covered up. Then we add this into our preheated oven at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. I will be using three eight ounce blocks of full fat cream cheese or 24 ounces total. I'm using Philadelphia, but any cream cheese will do. We will still be using under a cup of Swerf Confection of sugar. And also just a quarter wedge of a lemon will do. Just wanted to highlight that I did not drop the lemon in this video and I made sure to take out all the seeds and the lemon's pretty juicy. But again, as you're doing this, just make sure we don't have any seeds in there and I found that I had a few, so just go ahead and pick it out. And we'll be using an electric hand mixer to mix everything well. It's a lot easier with this. You can use, you can do it by hand if you'd like. You're just gonna have to uh, use a little chest muscle, right? So one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then we'll be adding an egg and mixing this for a little bit before we add in our second egg.
And then at this point, we'll add our second egg and finish, finish mixing our cream cheese filling. Again, this is a lot easier with an electric hand mixer. By hand, probably take a little bit longer. Once this step is done, we'll go ahead and mix in our chocolate with our cream cheese. Just make sure you get all the little bits in there. Now in this step, it's optional if you want to mix it in or if you want to leave this more as a topping for the cheesecake prior to putting it into the oven. I opted to mix in everything and it turns the chocolate into a milk chocolate as you can see here. So once this step is done, our crust should be ready. We'll go ahead and pour this over and again, just mix it evenly until it covers all areas of the crust. And it looks pretty nice on top. We'll be putting this cheesecake into our preheated oven at 350 degrees for an, an additional 30 minutes. And once that's done, we will bring it to up to room temperature for about an hour and then cover it with aluminum foil, put it in the fridge for at least four hours, preferably overnight. And that's what I've been doing. And this is the next day. As you can see, I have some cracks in here and I will be working on a recipe for the third cheesecake to try to eliminate this problem. I think I need to be using a water bath. But overall, it's not about cosmetic, it's about how it tastes. Once you have that done, cut yourself a slice, admire your work, and enjoy this delicious keto chocolate cheesecake. Alrighty, and that's how we have, uh, that's your chocolate cheesecake right there. Keto chocolate cheesecake. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I think the crust came out to exactly where I wanted it, the exact thickness, so I'm going to stick with that. Again, this will up up the values for slightly for like your nut carbs because you're adding more almond flour. But if, uh, again, you can use a thicker crust, thinner crust, whatever, you know, what have you, whatever makes you happy. I already have an idea of what I want to do with the next cheesecake, so this recipe definitely helped me a lot. I think from what I remember or from what I've seen online, cheesecake is made with um, some sort of like uh, like a water bath. So, you know, you, you put it over some water uh, so the steam helps it. So I'm going to experiment with that and see what I can do. Um, but in the meantime, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, any concerns, any uh, suggestions, Please go ahead and leave that in the comment box below. If you like what you saw, hit a like, subscribe, you know, let your friends, family, neighbors know. Hey, if there's anything out there you guys want me to make, please give you know send me a message. Uh, find me on Instagram. It's gonna be Nat Town Adventures. So please, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, until next time.